Oh, look. I'll look over there. <laughs> A little bit about myself. I, uh, uh, well, I just turned a young 51, and I grew up in Richmond, born in Ontario. Moved out here when I was three years old, and moved up to North Delta when I was when you were a baby. Actually, when Lucas was a baby, so we've been up in North Delta for. Yeah, I've just one more question. 19 years or so. And I've been a musician uh, since I was 10 years old. So, when did you first like get involved with music? First encounter with music? Uh, well, I would have been my parents. play music with their friends. Parties that we used to have. I was real small, so they'd be singing and playing guitar in the kitchen and making all sorts of racket, keep me up at night. So I, uh, I was exposed to uh, one, one of their friends particularly. Uh, it was Gordy. We used to call him Guitar Gordy. And, uh, he would always bring his really nice, fancy Gibson guitar. I don't like this one. When I was about, uh, probably, you know, nine, ten years old, uh, at a certain point of the night, he would say, uh, okay, Danny, go get my guitar. I would spring into action and I'd run down to, I'd go out to his car and I'd grab his guitar and I'd, I'd hand him the guitar and then go go uh, Eventually, he started letting me play it, fuck around with it, and uh, I the first few chords and started trying to trying to be like Gordy. Yeah, with my own, your uncles. My brothers bought me a guitar for Christmas when I was 10 years old. That's when I started playing. And no music lessons, no none of that, just self-taught? Mostly self-taught. Oh, I, I did have guitar lessons for about a year. Maybe less, but it was just uh, not teaching any uh, notes or theory or anything, it was just teaching me how to play Day Tripper and how to be able to stare me to heaven and stuff like that. So. so after your first guitar lesson and when you started playing guitar, did you like make an effort to make music more a part of your life? Yes, and yeah, I mean, I, when I picked, once I picked it up, I, I never, it just seemed had a guitar laying around in the living room and it was always within arm's reach to pick it up and play and then uh, in high school I started playing to uh, you know, parties, gatherings. We, in Richmond, they, uh, we be in an island, most people don't know that, so town of Bridges, I'm sure you do. Anyway, there was lots of beaches uh, so we would go down to the, to the beach Back and we would have a big fire, and then of course I'd bring my guitar. And so that was my introduction to playing um, for people playing around campfires and you know, American Pie, yeah. stuff like that. And has that translated to today? Like, are you still keeping up with music and all that? I am too. <laughs> self-promotion yeah sure yeah i've been in bands for 30 years uh, duos trios just playing restaurants and pubs and, and the music video parties and uh well yeah i put out my own music video i've written I've, yeah i guess we could go backwards too. A little so bit. when i when i did start picking up the guitar and playing to other people playing other people's music i realized that uh, hey, I, I could actually write songs as well, so uh, I started writing and recording my own songs probably right out of high school. Uh, I 
and since then, we're going to three and a half vouchers. I say a half because one was an EP. So right now, I'm recording my own music. And And last question, is there anything that you want to tell my class about music and maybe they should get more involved with it, what, what it's taught you? Yes, class, but uh, no, I would just say it's been really good uh, for me, it's been a lot of fun, it still is a lot of fun, and uh, that's what music should be.